Well, I just want to report on something uh, interesting. My vision just got much better. And the vision really wasn't bad. I don't really wear glasses, but I've noticed that for close up, um, I started. I said, you know, the hell with it. I got to use these reading glasses, like when you're about two feet away. And I, I actually, I'd use them. I was using them quite a bit the last couple months or so uh, for looking at the computer. So about a week ago, I put this video out on um, you know anti-aging, reverse aging, detox, and you know destroying melting fat. And I do take a lot of these vitamins, except for one that I added. And, by the way, the pictures in this video are not going to really go along with the subject matter, so if that bothers you, to hell with it. I mean, I'm just, I just put stuff out here just so people don't get bored, you know? And there's somebody with writing on their back making, this is hippie stuff, okay? Nothing to do with vision, but what the hell, you know? It makes your eyes, it's colorful, okay? Fine. Now, I want to, okay, so I put this video out about a week ago and I, I think it's really good about uh, you know the vitamin C vitamin D with the K2 combination and also niacin vitamin B3 the true niacin nicotinic acid well what I did was I um, started taking a lot more B3 the real stuff now I've been taking vitamins all along and I don't want to say it's one thing but it was probably the one thing I was missing but here's a caveat to it. Anytime you're getting multivitamin supplements, all even the best ones, they don't put the true niacin in there because people have, a lot of people have this flush reaction. Their skin gets red. It's not a harmful reaction or anything like that. It's actually good. It's a detox. It helps the, you know, the blood move around, you know, like hippies use the back door with no excitement. I don't know what the hell I'm putting out here. But, <laughs> hey, you know, I, I don't like going the normal route on anything I do on YouTube too much, okay? Even though I'm a kind of a serious YouTube producer, I like dealing with stuff that's serious and don't, you know, put it out too freaking serious, though, in a, in a weird way, like this, you know, here. Um, but let me put it to you this way. I was taking niacin sometimes. I wasn't taking it every day. I took the niacin in the Nature's Way whole, alive whole food energizer vitamins, and it's, but it's not the true nicotinic acid. Now I have niacin. I got loads of supplements. Looks like the one I was really short on was vitamin B3 nicotinic acid. You can't be playing around with the time released and the other types of vitamin B3. It's just not the same. Now, I did read that there's a number of uses for vitamin B3, and I don't want to say that if you just take vitamin B3, um, you know, your eyesight's going to vastly improve, but you know what? That's the only thing that actually worked for me right now, and it looks like, in my case, that's what I was missing, because... I don't necessarily eat the best healthy diet all the time. I eat like kind of like average, um, some healthy stuff, and then some garbage is mixed in, mixed in there. I think used to be when I was doing uh, loads of cardio, three hours a day, intense cardio a day for 365 days a week. I didn't I didn't need the detoxification benefits of niacin as much then because I sweated out a lot of bad things, right? But I noticed that. What's been going on lately, um, when I started taking the niacin, my energy levels went up. Um, I had less appetite. And, you know, one of the other things is with niacin, it's supposed to um, help process the carbohydrates. Now, another B vitamin that works with that is biotin also. But that's something important because maybe you're taking carbohydrates and you don't feel like you have energy. And it's not like one thing does everything. It's It never is. But it sure seemed to be the thing I was missing. Now, if you have a lot of green leaf, leafy vegetables all the time, like your diet is mainly that. And honestly, my diet used to be mainly that with fish uh, back when I was doing cardio 365 days a year, three hours a day plus an intense cardio on the elliptical machine because it does your whole body. I kind of like that one. It was pretty good because it's your arms, legs, everything, even your abs. But I realized, like, 
you know, I'm not doing that anymore because I didn't really have the time to do it as much. And I says, whoa, what the hell happened here? I says, you know, I'm putting on these reading glasses, and I'm like, it's blurry. It was like that yesterday and the day before. At first, I was thinking it's a fluke. Now it's like I can't use these damn things because it's blurrier with the reading glasses in the exact two and a half feet away from the computer screen that I was using them before. The exact same font sizes, everything. It's like if I'm using these damn reading glasses that I just got a few months ago, you know, they're just some, I don't know what the hell they're from, you know, they're some dumbass generic brand or some garbage. I mean, it's got a cute name on them, but they worked really good. Now I'm like, what the hell? They're, they're, I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? I said, wait a minute, my eyesight's working good. So I, a couple of days ago, I thought it was just a fluke. Then yesterday, now all day today, and I'm thinking, I thought maybe my eyes were tired. It, no, it, I, my vision got way better. And you know what I was doing with the niacin? I don't want to tell you to do this. Is that, um, and yeah, there's a dairy air here, so I didn't know what the hell picture I was going to be coming up with next. But anyway, <laughs> it's not over the bounds of YouTube, whatever. But uh, the uh, I was taking five, six, and 7,000 milligrams in niacin a day, along with 30,000 milligrams of vitamin C, um, 30,000 international units of vitamin D, and 5,000 micrograms of vitamin K2. Now, I was doing all the other things, except I wasn't using the niacin. I was doing all that other stuff. Now, I don't want to tell you to do this, because, you know, a doctor will tell you you're crazy for doing that, okay? There's some doctors that say it's cool, and I'm going by the minority. So you do whatever. I mean, it's it's probably good to take maybe 2,000 international units of vitamin D as they went over the other uh, the other video. And that's that's considered a high dose. I'm taking like freaking 15 times that, you know. And you want to take with a K2, maybe 3,000 uh, milligrams of vitamin C. That's considered a high dose. I'm taking 10 times that. But I never was taking a nicotine acid, to let, you know, vitamin B3, except once in a while. And I'm like, holy... Sh and then I I was doing it, and I was, sometimes I was taking up to 2,000 milligrams. Then I wouldn't take it for a few days. So I started taking it, like, every day. And I started doing 5,000 milligrams. Then I was doing 6, 7, 8. And I was like, I said, wait a minute, I'm going to back off on that until about 3,000 milligrams. Because that's a lot anyway. But my eyesight, and I can, and the only thing I can think of, it's that. Because it is a detoxifier. Niacin is also known for skin, hair, nails, and eye, eyesight, eye health. Also, vitamin C is known for eye health. I mean, a lot of things are known for eye health. But I guess if you're missing the one thing, you know, you can have everything else. And if you're missing that one thing, that's that's why you get so many different answers on you know what works for somebody because different people might be missing this one thing and it's not that simple to try to figure out what the balance is I thought I was getting everything and I was taking a nice and sometimes not every day I forget to take it I keep forgetting to take it because I take all this other stuff and I keep forgetting about it and I said let me just get on a kick and really get on this thing here because I start reading about it you know, I was researching a lot, and I got all these books on orthomolecular medicine, and I read them before, and I, I keep rereading them. I, I got them all scanned into PDFs so I can research them better, rather than picking up the hard copy. And, uh, I, you know, lo and behold, I'm coming across this thing all about niacin with detox and how it, you know, just how it fat. What I got interested in was how your body uses fat to trap toxins. That's why people are, that's a re major reason people are gaining weight. So I said, the really to detoxify, you need lots of niacin, not just, you know, taking a 500 milligram once in a while or something like that. It's not gonna, that's supposed to be a lot by the book, but that's not enough to detox. You need a lot more than that. So I went, you know, balls to the wall, if you want to use that expression, with the niacin, nicotinic acid. The last, whatever since I put that video out, a week ago or so, 
and my vision got I was like what the hell happened here I'm like holy smokes and it's not my imagination because sometimes you know your vision is better some days than other days because maybe your eyes relax but it's been like that today all day and I'm pretty tired and I should be lousy vision and I was um, it was like that all day yesterday and the day before so hey what can I tell you right <laughs> I don't know I'm happy with it I'm happy with it and I noticed like uh, my appetite has went way down it's like I don't feel like I'm hungry and I gotta have something to eat because I feel like you know I'm famished it's like I've been skipping meals more with this niacin stuff and I think that's well it's been known as um, you know synthesizing carbohydrates so I was pro I'm probably way short on this junk man I'm, I mean it's because like I said you know when I'm getting niacin in the regular you know good quality vitamin multivitamins it's never been the real stuff it's never been the nicotinic acid you want to take the real stuff nicotinic acid so and you know this thing where my eyesight got way better I'm like freaking out I can't believe this I can't believe this I mean it wasn't terrible terrible but it's like I know it got better because these damn reading glasses I put them on right now and I'm looking at this screen and I can see words on the top that you can't see like previous and next on the button um looks like shit <laughs> with the glasses on now and I could see it real clear I can't believe this so I'm gonna continue on with it I'm gonna freaking uh, not overdo you know overdo it I'm not gonna go ahead and continue on with five or six thousand milligrams and nice in a day I'm gonna go I don't know three thousand that's supposed to be a whole hell of a lot more than you're supposed to take, but I don't know if that's going to be. Maybe I'll back off from there a little bit, but uh, I'm not going to go with the five or six thousand milligrams a day. That's, I think that's nuts, man. And but I'm going to continue on with the vitamin C and the vitamin D. But I think I don't know. I got, but I I could tell you that I got pretty much every supplement out there, and I think if I was actually, um, um you know drinking organic juices all the time like celery juice carrot juice and and I don't know berry blends and all this other stuff I don't think the niacin really would have made this kind of difference because I would have had it all from the natural form but be that as it may all you people out there that are always eating uh, I don't eat Frito Lay's potato chips but I know a lot of people do you can't just eat one right uh, you know what I mean a lot of people are doing this stuff right you know, whatever else they got out there. Uh, I I think I saw something in Wally World's supermarket tonight that said uh, uh, something with fried Twinkies or some shit, frozen fried Twinkies. I was like, wow, that's that's healthy <laughs> on sale. I, something like that. I think that's what it said. I think that's what it said. So you know, obviously, when you're subjected to that type of stuff, that's probably why people need these anti-toxic, these vitamins that work as anti-toxins, and that's what vitamin B3 is. But it's got to be the real stuff, niacin, nicotinic acid, and um, I don't know. We'll see. You know, it's like uh, in search of. You know, in search of like. Ponce de Leon is always looking for something. Well, I'm always looking for something, too. You know, to be the best you could be and all that and live the longest you can and be as healthy as possible. So this looks like, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of like, I can't believe this, but it's been like this for now for a few days. And what really got me was like I had the habit of, I know I said this ten times. I know, you could tell me in the comments. I repeat it myself. But this is, I got to do this because sometimes, I swear to God, people miss this shit. There's like different percentages they get it the first time, second time, third time, fourth time. But when I put my glasses on, which I got a few months ago, which is just some generic reading glasses, and I says, let me just, I just threw them on. I said, how come that crap is blurry? I'm looking at this. And I took them off, and it's clear. And 
that's why you noticed that yesterday. And it's, it's like that old day, today. Like, what happened here? The only thing I know it's different I was doing was that mega doses of niacin, nicotinic acid. So, take it for what it's worth, it's worth. And it may not be the solution for you because I take everything else. That was the one thing I wasn't taking a lot of in a real form. I was taking it in, uh, you know, the time released, and it wasn't that much of it and stuff. And you don't want to take the time released with this nicotinic acid because that type of stuff could be harmful to your kidneys and liver. Actually, you want to take the kind that gives you the flush. That's the, it's much safer, even though some people say they don't like that flush. It's much, much safer. So, I don't know. You know, i got to tell you what I've experienced because I don't think... You know, if this is true, it's going to put... It, it, it's it's another way you're going to put eye doctors out of business, right? They'll love that, right? Anyway, over now.